Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, B to the T to the M here, bringing you part two in our Let's Play Learning Campaign preparations. In the last uh, video, we completed the arrival scenario. In this one, we are doing number two, blacksmiths and bows. Um, this one, we will get some violence, we will get some bloodshed, and we will get to build some more buildings, so stay tuned. Hold on to your seat pants, or your seat not pants. With more of the army now arriving every day, the beach site has become too crowded and a main base must be established. Scouts report a promising site further inland. It has rich iron deposits for weapons and is uninhabited apart from a few dangerous beasts. So our goal here is to collect iron, collect swords, collect bows, but not let our lord, who is a guy who stands on top of the castle, die. Can we do this? Should we do it on hard? No, we're going to do it on normal. Part of the reason why is because most of this is just collecting resources. And it's kind of pointless just to spend more time collecting resources needlessly. I wonder what kind of beasts inhabit this exotic country. That's a lion's den, guys. I know. Trust me. Iron mine. And here we are back in the desert doing Place some deserty stockpile, things. my lord. Okay, so as you can see, we do have some more building choices in this match as opposed to the last one. No castle walls or defense ones just yet, but we do have some industry, and we do get the opportunity to place our own stockpile. Now, something I've learned in my infinite wisdom is that you're going to want your stockpile somewhere where it's easy to get like a lot of resources from. So I'm actually going to put my stockpile all the way over here. That way, people... That way my um, villager people can actually get to it faster rather than slower. And then I think we'll put our granary facing like this. Again, that way people can get there faster. Ready and and we're going to go send our king Moving, people sir. up there to go kill. And let's work on getting some wood camps built. I think we'll put our wood camps back here. And then for food, let's do an apple orchard. Let's put it maybe southern more so we don't get in any trouble. And do we have enough wood left over for a dairy farm? No, we do not. But when we get enough wood, we Sir, will, of course, be putting down forward. a uh, dairy Sire, farm. The iron deposits are in a canyon beyond the trees. We should build some iron mines there. <gasps> no way! I thought I was just going to wave this my hands wildly. functioning, my lord. And have some iron magically appear. Dude, you, you are tripping me. I have to mine iron Don't for it to survive. Don't forget that our workers will need a supply of food as well, my leech. Oh, it's not like I've already built some apple there, farms. My lord. Oh wait, Orders? I have. Apple farm. Oh yeah. Now, lions aren't particularly tough, but we yes, don't have sir. very many men, so I don't know if I want to rush in. Can I build a barracks? I can build a barracks. So we're going to build a barracks, I guess. Look, lions, sire. <gasps> we should build a barracks and conscript some peasants to fight them as soon as possible, my lord. Are there tigers and bears? Oh my! <laughs> Sorry, cannot resist the bad pun. All right, so I just bought as many peasant people as I could. Yes, sir. We're gonna go take out these li this lion den, and you know what? Let's get them in Call a nifty formation. formation. And oh no, it looks like they're gonna come to us. All right, let's stuff. go, and then we'll go Eight back. Ranks. Can he not get through the trees there? Okay, there he is. Rally to the Lord. He is under attack. Yeah, you almost let your king get under attack, guys. Let's be at them. And, wow, that line's actually going down pretty quickly. And let's go kill sir. this last line. Meanwhile, we're going to want to work, I think, because our villager population is full. Attack. Oh, let's actually watch this happen. Boom. All right. So, so now all we need to do in order to get rid of the lines of the is ready. just um, break down their scab, which I guess is where lines... Ready, oh, sir. no. Scab is a line. Scab Order, the line. Sir. Finish them off, man. All right, and then we just need to break down this. And we won't New actually orders. have a problem with lions coming Moving again. So out. what we can actually do here is we can actually dismiss all our soldiers that um, we have the ability to and Men send them to go. On the walls. We can send them to go, uh, to. go back to work and doing helpful things. So what we're going to actually probably do, how much wood do we have? 48 wood. You know what? We're going to work on getting another wood camp up here maybe. Because where's our stockpile? Our stockpile's right there. Maybe, hmm, um, right there perhaps. And then right here as well. Boom. All right. There we go. So we're going to get a bunch more wood. We're going to need more food. Um, oh, we're low on population. Okay, no wonder people aren't happy. We can afford another hovel. Hovels are basically the equivalent of houses, so you have lots of wood hovels. Needed me, Lord. Oh, we're out of wood. 
small hut. Oh, okay. That's really interesting. It's kind of fluctuating. I thought we only had one choice on the building. Yeah, hovel. Okay. We need wood, sire. Okay. Um, can I buy wood from the store right now? I can buy wood. I don't know where I'm buying it from magically, but I can buy wood. All right. And okay, so we now have another hovel. That's great. And how are we doing here? We have a lot of stone. I don't know the purpose of having stone. How are we doing on food? Sentiment is warm towards you, my liege. Um, we're doing pretty decent. Now, what we are going to want to do, of course, is really just kind of get everything we need weapons-wise going pretty quickly. So in order to build a mine, we will need, let's see, we'll need an iron mine, which will cost 50 wood. So you know what? We can start doing that, or we can get a um, dairy farm up and running. Or we can work on getting more wood. I think we're going to work on getting more wood first. Yeah, you know, I know we need to get the iron going, but wood's kind of the first resource in that chain, so I'd rather go big on the wood, get a plethora of wood stockpiled, be able to increase the amount of villagers we have, and then, oh wow, we, we have so many idle villagers. There we go. Um, can we build a dairy farm? We can build two more apple orchards, and we have room. Farms must be placed on grassland. All right, so two more apple farms going good. And we are going to want to diversify our crops. That way, if a disaster happens, which undoubtedly will at some point, we don't all die. We have a good amount of stone. We don't really have a method of gathering more just now. How, how are villagers doing? Still a really good amount idle. I do wish, I think I said this in the previous video, I do wish that we had an idle villager button. And here's why. Right now, we're just kind of doing a tutorial campaign it's really simple nothing's attacking us no walls but in later games when you're really kind of dealing with a ton of things empty, sire. when you're doing a ton of things it's actually kind of i don't want to say difficult but it can be a little bit frustrating trying to keep track of everything you have to handle so if there was like another option or even a pop down option to see how that's going that would be helpful but let us instead build ourselves a dairy farm we will get some cows soon i believe um, we're waiting for the worker to come first. Man, he's got a long way to walk. That's our dairy guy. Yep, dairy farmer. Jake Delurio. Del, Del Irio. Del Irio. Wow. Well, I hope he makes great music while he's up there. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, let's actually get another dairy farm going since we can. And how far out can we put it? Boom. Not enough workers available to run this building. Really? Did we run out of workers? All right, well, we'll get another hovel. And so what happens when you have buildings is you put down your buildings. Wood needed, me lord. Um, we are almost out of food, sire. I'm, I'm building more food places as fast as I can, guys. Stop stop bugging me. All right, so our worker arrived. This is kind of cool, though. A cow will appear from somewhere. There's a cow from Wildly. Buttercup the cow appearing from the woods, grazing. Soon she will be fat and milked for deliciousness. But um, I digress. We're actually a little low on food. But um, you know what? We have more food coming. So I don't feel bad about building a hovel. People are dying right now. But I have all these farms up and things coming. So, oh no, we have our food back. Okay. But we don't really have any ales or the capacity to have ales or churches. And wow, look at Buttercup. She is really just growing. And watch him. He's going to go Melker, I believe. Is he? I hope he's going to go Melker. Yep, there he goes. Squish, 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 and wow, another baby cow magically appearing. And then he'll carry that milk away. She'll go to graze, and that's how the dairy system works. Let's actually work on Still getting no sign of habitation, another sire. dairy farm. It's making me uneasy. And then maybe another apple orchard just because we can. And then do we still have some wood left over? Yeah, you know what? We'll just work on getting another wood camp built. And then as soon as we have enough wood, we'll build a, even one more. And then maybe another hovel, and then we'll work on... Oh, we have idle villagers. That's so good. Um, yeah, we'll just work on getting our wood industry built up just a little bit more. I see you about to deliver wood. That is excellent. Great. And maybe we'll put... Oops, let's zoom out a bit. And we'll put this wood... Put this wood camp right over here, perhaps. Can we face it the other way? Yeah, there we go. All right, another wood camp. And how are we doing on the villagers? Still a few idle ones. Maybe we can get another farm kind of thing going. Um, we'll build one more farm, and then we'll work on the mines because the mines are really what we need to be focusing on for this one. I just want to make sure that we're, um, well, one, not starving. How are we doing? We're eating more than we've made daily, so that doesn't seem particularly good. 
So figure that one out. Let's put you over there, and then as soon as we can, maybe we'll just put down another one as well. Build another hovel, and then we'll put all those new villagers working the iron buildings and the smeltery that will accompany it. Yeah, that might be what we do. Now, one thing I haven't done yet is I've never run out of trees in the game, or even kind of gotten really close. I wonder if that happens, and if so, what, what what's the result? Now, the thing is, in terms of building, um, you know, let's just start building... Uh, Let's get an iron mine built up as soon as we can. So we're going to drop a bunch of wood off, it looks like. Boom. And then we can come over here to the iron and get an iron, man, iron, built, iron mine built up. But in order to build it, we will also need an ox tether with it. My which, lord, which is actually kind of cool. Beset by plagues of flying beasties. They black out the very sky itself. Once the iron mines are operational, my lord, we will need to place ox tethers nearby to transport the iron. Now, while I need to build a smeltery, I don't remember whether I will or not. Um, I will need to build a military building, um, a Fletcher's workshop. I will need to build a Fletcher's workshop. I will need to build a... Um, not enough workers available to run this building. I will need to build a Fletcher's workshop and a... Um, blacksmith's workshop so you know I'm just gonna put both of those down right now and we don't have enough workers but it's okay we'll build a house as soon as we can we're a little bit low on the wood but we will have some more wood shipped very quickly I'm certain there we go wood needed your lordship hmm I just want a cheap little hovel hovel why does it sometimes it say bigger hmm all right let's go there we go that was wood weird. needed your lordship Wood needed, your lordship. How much wood do we have right now? 39. All right. How are we doing on food? We're doing pretty good. How are we doing on the iron? We got some iron coming in, hopefully. A little bit? Nope, no iron coming just yet. That's a little disappointing. Disconcerting as well. We'll have to make sure we get more people to work it. There we go. That was a little bit strange. I don't know why. It seems a little bit buggy there, the housing thing. I'm not sure why. So hopefully it all uh, gets resolved fairly quickly. We have a good amount idle. This Why are you idle? Has no labor, sire. A bear is loose in the village. Shit. Um. Okay. Sir. Where's this bear? Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. I don't see the bear. Where are you, bear? It's like you're barely there. Oh look, there's a um. Sir. Yes, stockpile sir. thing. Let's go get that. I don't see the bear. I hate to be a bad guy, but hey, I don't see the bear. I can't really stop it. Um, industry buildings. Can we build another iron mine? Yes, we can. We'll work on building it. We'll need to build another ox tether in order to move it, but hey, look, there's another ox tether. Boom. And that, It's so cool. Look at the oxen go. Oh, my good goodness. Old beefy. <laughs> Carrying iron like a champ. Yeah, look at him go, old beastie. Sire, we have uncovered a cache of food. And as you can see, it's kind of cool, though. It does, like, distinguish by resource what they are. Now we have iron, sire. We should start weapon production as soon as possible. Oh, look, I already have one, and I'm already building bows. He's literally carving a bow from a piece of wood, which is so cool. Um, Again, it's very, very beautiful in a thematic-style game. Now, just think about playing this when you're being attacked by no other people built. and giant armies. It's crazy. Why were you telling me I don't have an armory built? Are you trying to say I need an armory? Yeah, I can build an armory. Where do you want an armory? Uh, maybe right here. Um, okay, so does that give him a place to store weapons or buy weapons or what's going on? Oh, he takes the weapons he makes to the armory. Like, literally, like, carries the weapons to the armory. That's actually kind of cool. So that, that, that'll that happen pretty soon. Daily taxes are looking pretty good. You know what I'll do? I'll build another one of the weapon-making buildings just so this goes a little bit faster. So let's build another blacksmithery. And then do we still have some idle villagers to work it? Looks like we'll have one more. So David Locke, peasant, as soon as we have another 100 gold, you will become a... Uh, you know what? We'll sell... Well, we can't sell our wood. As soon as David Locke, extraordinaire... Um, as soon as we have enough wood, we will make him become the brand new, amazing bowsmith in our town. And that will happen. What are you? Oh, you're the jester. 
<laughs> we have one guy who, whose job is to walk around our town and just uh, entertain people. That's kind of cool. All right, we have enough wood. Oh, we can't sell it. In later games, you'll actually be able to sell the resources you have. Um, this one being the basic, basic, basic tutorial, you won't be able to. But usually you will. Um, I could kind of just really maximize my iron production or even my people. I guess I can maximize my people. No particular need, but might as well. Then, then more people will just start coming out all of a sudden. And there they are. And then I'll have more people to work jobs. And that's how this game goes. Those people are also what make soldiers. And as you can see, my only choice here is conscripts. But as I have more peasants just kind of waiting around, the more people I can make. By the way, if you click this little button, you can make a flag. However, it's blocked behind the thing. So that's a little bit of a bug. It's a little bit messed up. It's one thing I would say, great game. That needs to be fixed or patched or um, uh, just at least a little bit improved upon. Let's get another iron mine going, though, because we can. And another ox station, man, because we can. There we go. And what does that do for our idle people? Hopefully they're not being idle anymore. Horrible people not working hard. So we have two blacksmiths, but only one Fletcher's workshop. And that's a little bit distra distressing. We'll have to build another Fletchery. There we go. We'll build it even closer here. And this, oh wow, look, we're actually almost out of trees there. So that'll be interesting if they start like walking over here to trees or something. How are we doing on food, by the way? Okay, look, our May Daily is actually a lot less than our Eden Daily. That's kind of interesting. Maybe I can fix that a bit and make, um, do I have more idle people? I have one, two, three, four idle people. You know what? Yeah, let's get two apple orchards with two people to work on them. And we'll spread them out. And then we'll make two dairy farms. All right, now everybody in our town should be working. There we go. And all we're waiting on is the items to come in. Our king is in no danger. Our lord, our liege guy is in no danger of dying. Although I don't know where I put him. Right, I left Ready him forgotten waiting. at the side of the map. Again, Men huge pet peeve. On the walls. Can't heal my guys. And this is kind yes, of frustrating sir. because especially, or Guards if I can, ready, sir. I just don't Defending know how to. Ground, sir. I just don't know how to, to be honest. Patrol assigned, sir. I don't know how to like heal them. Men and I don't think I can. And it's really frustrating. Also, he's talking really loudly, even though I think I have his sound options turned off. So there we go. That's not cool. But as you can see here, a lot of food. Our food should be solidly in the surplus. I, I guess not. I don't understand how it's not, but um, hmm. We could always make more people just designed to make food. But nope. Okay. Well, there we go. That's about it. There's nothing much more to happen in this game. Uh, in the next game, what will happen is we'll actually get some bigger combat. We'll have to go attack some people. And we'll be able to build even newer buildings and gather different resources and more. So that will actually be a lot of fun. So be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. Um, this game will progressively, each game, get more and more exciting. So last game, we did nothing. This game, we built this massive town. Killed one or two guys. Next game, we're going to kill a lot more. Do something different. The game after that, ooh, things really start to ramp up to the point where it almost becomes not fun. It's so difficult. But I'm kidding. This game's actually a lot of fun. Until then, old beefy and old beefy and old beefy and it uh, looks like another old beefy um, are uh, not. Um, hmm, that's really kind of strange. Wait, wait let's let's actually fix this right My now. My lord. Okay. Close ranks. He's talking when I'm moving him, right? But when I went to the options, and I went to sound options, their speech is completely turned off. Would that come under F SFX? Let me see. Nope, that, that's not under SFX either. Like, it, that, wait, wait a minute. It might be, though, because that's a lot quieter. Hmm. Let's see what that does. No, that's still really quiet, and I'm not sure why. Huh, okay. Or, hold on. On the walls. Okay, so it is, he is a speech guy, so when the speech is gone, I can still hear him. I don't know if you can hear him, but I can still hear him, so that's a little bit of, um, 
a mistake. However, we just Victory. won the game, so it doesn't really matter. And in the next one, we'll actually have some warfare against some bigger issues. So I do hope you come and enjoy it. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I have been BTM. Good luck and happy hunting. BTM out.